Hi guys, so in this video I'll be showing you some clips from our Singapore trip where we went to the shops at Marina Bay Sands and also Jewel shopping area in Changi Airport. So as you can see, the entrance for the shops at Marina Bay Sands is extremely extravagant. They have a whole canal which you can pay tickets to ride on. Um, we decided not to do that because we've already been to <laughs> The canals in the Venetian and Las Vegas so it didn't really seem that necessary for us to do that. Here is some footage of what the mall looks like inside. It is absolutely beautiful and it was like nice and cool inside. Good break from the heat and humidity from outside. We came in from visiting um, the gardens for lunch so here is the cafeteria. This is the dim sum counter with all of its fried food. I ordered a bunch of um, <laughs> shrimp dim sum dishes for Josh because that's what he was craving at the time. Um, they did speak mostly Cantonese there. There is some English is like not great. I remember he wanted mayonnaise and didn't have mayonnaise and I had to go to like a Japanese stand to ask for mayonnaise. This is a curry laksa that I ordered for myself. It was really, really great. There's actually a lot of shops to see at the shops, of course. Um, we spent a lot of time there because we really wanted to get away from the heat and we also needed to rest from all the walking. One of the places that we stopped at that he liked was the DC Comics Superheroes Cafe and um, he ordered this latte, which was, or cappuccino, I think. It was actually kind of expensive. I believe that was like $10 US. So this is an interactive floor that you can have access to if you have tickets to the Art Science Museum, which is in one of my other videos. Um, it's really cool. I mean, we didn't bother doing it because we were tired. We are just watching the kids and other families play around with the interactive floor from the DC Comic Superheroes Cafe. By the way, please like this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. So now we're off to Changi Airport. We're going to go see Jewel, which is a magnificent shopping area. Um, you can go to Jewel when you get off your flight, but you can't check in and then go to Jewel. I know that someone made that error. so. If you check in and you go through the gate and then you want to go to Jewel, you can't. You have to basically check out and or leave the airport, go to Jewel, and give yourself enough time to check in to get back into the gate for your flight, and hopefully you won't miss it. Um, but Jewel is magnificent. We actually decided to spend a day there, more or less, probably one of our last days to do like the remainder of our souvenir shopping and just to check it out because it is so beautiful. They have um, all these amazing waterfalls, and it's just really well done. There is also like multiple shopping areas and food courts throughout the whole mall. Um, I know that on the top floor or one of the top floors, they even have like a child's play area where there's like a net where kids can climb above, <laughs> and it's like basically babysitting to take to keep your kids busy while you're shopping so I thought that was really really creative you really had to see it it's amazing what they have in Jewel they also have this cool walkway where you can like walk above everything to check out everything from below um, you do have to pay for the walkway and like it's kind of confusing finding the line to go to to get the tickets for that so those people figured it out right there on the walkway um, so I think there's a net right there. That's where the child's playing with. Like, how cool is that? I think your kids will love it. And it will definitely keep them busy. There were lots of cafes and there's even like a monorail that goes through Jewel, but I don't actually know how to get tickets for that either. I don't think any of these things are free. Like you have to pay for every attraction that it is in Jewel. They have um, lots of shops though, so... There's no, there's no way you're gonna get bored there. I just remember being so tired from exploring this mall because there were so many floors. It was like kind of like a maze at the same time because while it's circular, there's like these niches 
where you go and find different shops. And it got a little confusing, but you know, I managed. But I had very sore feet at the end of the day. Oh, there's also a Team Hoan, which is um, a Cantonese dim sum place with really, really great food. The prices were a little bit higher than usual, I guess, because it's located at Jewel. If you decide to go there, you absolutely have to order their famous pork buns. They are so soft and chewy, and they come out fresh out of the oven with like a hot, savory pork filling. And the sweet topping is perfect. It complements the savoriness of the pork filling perfectly. So I went to the Cookie Museum, which is not so much a museum as much as it is just a store that sells really interesting flavors of cookies, such as this chili crab cookie here, which I did not try because I really believe that a cookie should be sweet and not savory. <laughs> they have like a large collection of savory and sweet. I got the flavor that was um, Singapore slang flavor and another one that is made of Baileys because Josh loves Baileys. However, after I bought them, I tried both of them at home and I was like, wow, they kind of taste the same. Um, at the store, I actually got samples and I guess at the store I thought they were different, but they're not. So, they're But on the bright side, the container's cute, so there's that. And like, it's supposed to be fashioned after their traditional lunch containers that they used to have back in the day. So if you haven't already, please like this video, you mean you watch all the way till now, so I guess it's not that bad. Um, and subscribe to the channel. So the next section I'm going to talk about some souvenirs that I got or thought would be nice to bring home. The first thing is a plush stuffed um, ice cream sandwich with rainbow bread. So this is supposed to be fashioned after the ice cream sandwiches that you can get on the street. It's literally a sandwich made with rainbow bread. And this is the same thing but with a wafer. You can choose which one you want when you get there. Yes, with the bread. Yes, with the bread, please. This is the bread, right? Oh, it's so pretty. Thank you. In case you're the kind of person who appreciates diagrams, here is a drawing of all the different types of ice cream that you can get from the ice cream man in Singapore. So that diagram was um, printed on a bag that I got from Melissa Zaka. It's a cute little gift shop at one of the shopping malls. And I also bought this little Hawker Center diorama and this Pranican tile from Melissa Zaka. It's a great store and the prices are super affordable. So Melissa Zaka is Japanese and they also sell this cute little merlion charm. Um, if you're not familiar with this, there's supposed to be a prayer inside to help with some kind of fortune in your life. So I got my sister one that had uh, a merlion with glasses on it because she was in school at the time and that was supposed to have a prayer inside to help her with her studies. Next are some like bags that you can buy. Um, this is made with like recycled material and that's what the buses really look like in Singapore. They're double deckers. Unfortunately they don't have all those cats on board but if you like cats then there will be lots of um, <laughs> cat related merchandise or merlion which is basically a swimming cat or like a mermaid cat. I also picked up some Pranican tiles from other shops, like this one is from a seamstress that I happened to just walk in and see. Um, I also got a bunch of food magnets that were relevant to the famous foods of Singapore, like the laksa, the Hainanese chicken, chili crab, the roti, and the satay. I picked these up at the airport, they had like a 10 buy 10 get one free deal at the time. But I think they're really well-made magnets, they're very detailed, and if you have someone in your life that loves food, then this gift is great. I got this for my sisters who absolutely love food. This is kind of random, but I got a Kit Kat McFlurry at McDonald's in Singapore. They tend to really love Kit Kats there. Um, when we went there, we went to a Krispy Kreme in the airport, and they had a Kit Kat donut. So that was interesting. 
Anyway, please make sure you like the video before you go and subscribe. There are also some other videos related to Singapore, which I'll put up here. Thank you so much.